Sup, Bo here again. Um, and in this entry, I want to talk about um, rituals. Rituals and um, and like rites of passage and things like that. Uh, and affirmations. So, what is a ritual and what is an affirmation? For those who are not familiar with that. A ritual is something that you do routinely, and it's it's kind of like it, it's meant. It's designed to basically get to to do something to you. You know, like like a good example is a morning ritual. Like most people have morning rituals that they do, like they get up, they brush their teeth, they pray or something, or like they they make breakfast, they go for a jog or like whatever, they meditate. You know, they have. It's like a it's like something you do. Like in commemoration, it's either in. Like one way is to com like is to commem use it to commemorate something, like a birthday or something like that, and that that's good for kind of like emotional um, fulfillment, like kind of yeah, just just feeling better, you know, feeling good, and like community and stuff like that. Um, but also, you know, a ritual is for. It can be used in a practical way, in a productive way, which is the one that I just described uh, about making it like, you know, getting like a morning ritual is designed to get you in a productive mood for the rest of the day. So that's the ritual. Uh, an affirmation is something that you think of, that you visualize. It, like a lot of people use words or, or like sentences, like they have an affirmation, like, you know, for example, I will get rich, I will get rich, or like, I will find love, I will find love, you know, that kind of thing. And it's, it's basically a visualization process, which basically, uh, it is meant to put you in a certain state of feeling and mind, like a state of energy. Um, and the commonality between these two things is that they are, they form part of this sorting process that I was talking about in the discernment, logic, and emotion video, where I talked about how the process of becoming more sensitive is a logical thing. It's, it's like a sorting process. Um, and so, what this means is that we can use rituals and affirmations to get our energe energetic state to a certain place such that it's productive for us, like we, we can feel good and you know do really good work, we can get into a really good space for like meeting and attracting members of the opposite sex, or just generally being social, you know, like, yeah, so, so you know, so like anything, anything that is done to get you into a state of mind and feeling is, you can call it a ritual. So like, you know, for example, a footballer, like a team of footballers, they might do like a pep talk, like a motivational pep talk before they go, or like the coach might have a pep talk with them and they, they you know, they they talk about how they're going to win and stuff, you know, and that, that's a ritual. So because it gets everyone into that state. Or, you know, ex you know, students before examinations and like tons of examples. But, um, yeah, so, so, so essentially a ritual and an affirmation they are things that basically symbolize a emotional energetic state and i don't think i mentioned this but like symbolism is the realm of the you know i, I did mention the word symbolism like a couple of times in my early videos but symbolism is basically the realm of thought like the, the realm of logic and it's, it's like an idea it's like a snapshot basically um, of of an, of, of an emotional state or like it, it's meant to represent something like a state and so um, this is the approach that you should be adopting in the sense that you're forming like the reason for having a ritual or like to, to do an affirmation is that it's meant to it's meant to produce a state in you, like a specific state that you can keep doing reliably, you know, over and over again. And so it's imperative that, like, you make a ritual 
or an affirmation your own, right? Because um, what you could do is you could go to like other people, or like you could go to like gurus and people like that, or like you know other friends, and they'll, they'll, or like you know a group of people, and like you kind of do their rituals and their affirmations, right? And a lot of people like they, they you know they think that it's 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 about the action. Right, it's about the symbolic action of whatever the ritual or the affirmation is that um, puts you in that, that basically produces results, right? And uh -uh, that's, that's not how it works, right? You have like you have to have an energetic, emotional um, attachment, like a connection with that symbol, like that idea. In order for it to be effective, that's the that's the whole point of having a ritual or or a visualization, uh, an affirmation. It's because you have that connection between your idea, your mental symbol, and your feeling state that you want to reproduce, and that's what that's why it works because you use use the symbol to basically ignite, to to like turn the ignition for that state. So it is stupid, <laughs> like it's, essentially, it is stupid to basically adopt a ritual or use an affirmation. That you have no emotional connection with, right? Like, you know, so basically, make sure it's something, it's your own. The best thing to do is to, to make your own ritual. Like, for example, you know, like, um, you could follow someone's morning ritual, morning ritual where it's like, they, they get up, they drink a cup of coffee, they, they, uh, they, they get up, they, you know, they brush their teeth, stand and stuff, and then they, they make, they go for a jog, or they go to the gym, or something like that, and then you try and do it, and like you, you can try other people's rituals and, and affirmations. And I'm saying I'm not saying you shouldn't do them, but like, say you try them, right? You start, you try someone else's um, ritual, and some parts of it work, and some parts of it don't, right? And generally, like you, you don't get the same kind of because the person obviously like they sell you this ritual because they're like, oh, I feel amazing because of this. I, I, I like I end up doing like you know this this crazy stuff that's amazing. You know this I'm this productive after I've done it. And then you look at their results, you compare them, and it's like, yeah, I, I didn't have the same kind of degree of success. Um, so, so basically, you you have to once you like if you decide to adopt someone else's ritual or or affirmation, like like be aware of how it's affecting you, whether it's actually making you feel a certain way. If it's not, then it means that it's not effective for you. Or sometimes what it means is like you need to do it more. Right, and so this is what what I'm trying to get at is like you need to detach from the symbolic attachment to the action, or the words, or the thought. You know, the thing that you're doing, right? That's symbolic. You know, like like pouring a cup of coffee of this certain blend, or like doing this series of exercises in the morning. You know, that kind of thing. Like specific actions. They are symbolic, right? And unless you have an emotional connection to them, they're not going to do anything for you, right? Unless they put you in a certain state, like, that's not going to do anything for you. So, so, so essentially, either you make your own ritual, you design your own ritual, or you make, or you design your own affirmation, which, like, to which you already have, like, an emotional uh, connection with, or you take someone else's ritual, and, and, you know, granted, like, you know, provide that, like, you know, it's actually going to help you, you know, like, if it's just absolutely not, it doesn't resonate with you at all, then, like, you should, like, fucking don't use it. But, like, use someone else's ritual and then, like, slowly, basically build a, an emotional connection between the state that you're trying to achieve and the symbolic action that you're doing, or, like, or, like the, the words, you know, symbolic words. So, yeah, this is how you should approach rituals and affirmations and just generally anything that requires uh, any kind of state that you're trying to put yourself in really yeah it boils down to rituals and affirmations and you could also say visualization so like if you kind of picture something in your mind like for example some people they uh, yeah I mean it's essentially an affirmation but like you know they might they might keep like a certain photo or like they might have like a certain piece of music or like, you know, they might have a certain object, or, you know, um, that basically reminds them of something or puts them in a certain state. 
And, yeah, and again, you know, it depends how you tackle it, you know, it might just be for, like, emotional fulfillment, like I said, like, basically making yourself feel better. But, um, yeah, but essentially, you know, realize this connection between uh, the symbolic action, like, whatever you're trying to do to, to have the the effect, like the result at the end of it, and the state that you're actually trying to get into, or the result that you're actually, there has to be an emotional connection, and um, yeah, this is another kind of aspect of energy, again, this is a key principle that I mentioned in, in, one, of, in uh, one of my previous vlogs I did today, um, yeah, this key principle that I'm going to introduce to you soon, but basically it's uh, looking at energy and how, how how to interpret it because it is different it's it's like it's not really related to logic it's different like like i just mentioned right because like if you look at things symbolically um you have either you have like one action and you have another action so say like you ride the bike or you go for a jog and basically one person one person goes for a jog and they love it, like, they love it, like, they, they can't wait to go jogging again. And they go on a bike. And they hate it, like, they hate riding bikes. And then you have another person who is, like, the, like say they have the same personality. And that person likes riding the bike and hates jogging. And then, like, so, so the kind of the logical question would be, like, which one is better out of riding a bike? Or jogging, like that's what most people are trying to find out. Like when when they like look for like techniques and methods and things, like it's like which one is better, right? And the answer is, it depends on you, motherfucker, because like it's an energetic thing, right? And this is what I'm getting at, right? Symbolism versus energy, like logic versus energy, emotion, like it is subjective, right? And it is also changeable. Like, for example, person A that I mentioned who likes jogging but hates uh, cycling. It could get, to, he could, he could naturally progress to the point, or, or actually force himself to enjoy biking more and start hating jogging, right? So, like, there's not, like, a static thing where it's, like, this is better than that. It, it really, it depends on your, on, like, on the energy, on how you feel, right? Um, and, like, one action... It might do it might be really amazing for you like one thing that you do might be really amazing for you one on one day but then you come back to it like a week later or like a month or a year later and that same thing that you you do you do it and it's like that's shit <laughs> like or like uh, i don't why did i why did i find it so amazing the first time right so this is energy this is the this is the difference between energy and logic slash symbolism and again this key principle i'm dying to let you in on it. It's really nothing, it's not going to change your world, it's just a perspective of how to basically think of these two uh, different kind of, I kind of gave you a hint there, um, of how, yeah, how to interpret these different kind of ways of perceiving. Because one is like uh, vertical, like thinking, and then the other one is like kind of different. It's like different, right? Um, so, okay. Um, yeah, so that, I hope you found interesting next see video you <laughs>